Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Resales. My name is Ryan, and this is one of them channels. Talk about stuff you get at yard sales, garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. Flip for a few extra bucks online. Uh, I mostly do books and toys. Today is all is it all books. It's all books and a game. So we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, have a couple sales, and I hit the thrift store yesterday and had a couple finds. So nothing earth shattering, but that's fine. You stay consistent, and it does shatter in a good way. Okay. Anyway, uh, first up, let's go with. Okay, hymnals. Hymnals, hymnals, hymnals. Uh, this is the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church hymnal. And from 87, 11 bucks. Um, which means I'll make a dollar or two. I probably spent two dollars on it and I'm trying to back off of spending more than a dollar on hymnals. Uh, with some of the recent, between what I'm, what I'm paying for them and some of the recent price increases, uh, you gotta be careful. These hymnals sell, uh, most of them between 10 and $15. Uh, there's a couple, I think I can get closer to say 17. Uh, but hymnals typically do okay. I would say if you're, re one, research them, two, if you're not in a place to research them, set your limit at about a dollar a piece. Uh, but, so that one. Uh, and next, on a completely different note, Robert Adams Horse Clan books. Uh, these are okay. I've read a few. Uh, did, didn't quite grab me, but there's a bunch of them. I sold these five for 12 bucks. Uh, it's a... Not a super hard series to find. Usually when I find one, I find five or six. This was in the big fantasy hall from a few weeks ago. Uh, so I paid a buck a piece for these. That's five bucks and 12, so I'll make a dollar or two. So, um, but I'm also, I'm in a community, I'm in some Facebook communities where sometimes I can flip these and make a little bit more uh, in the three to five dollar range. Uh, but not this time, but they'll go out. My ratings will go up. Uh, and that's my sales. So, I uh, had a few finds yesterday. I got a few more. If you watch yesterday's video, which I'm going to post after I get off of this, um, I got a boatload of Destroyer and Executioner men's adventure spy thriller novels uh, at 50 cents a piece. And... I'm going to try and get those put up today on some Facebook groups first and see if I can unload some that way uh, other than, and so that's that plan. I'll turn to Tevli. Another hymnal. Uh, African American Heritage Hymnal. This one is in the $15 to $20 range. So I think I'll do pretty good on this one. I get this one posted today. And we'll go with that. Uh, and these are, this is going to be interesting. Uh, I, I may have overspent on these. Uh, Norman Vincent Peale, Positive Power of Jesus Christ, and Positive Thinking for a Time Like This. Uh, Peale's books do okay, but they usually go really low. These are first editions in like slightly rarer versions it's not power of positive thinking, uh, which like a first edition of that's pretty good. But uh, these, I think I may be able to get 15 for both, maybe 20. I'll have to poke it and see how that goes. Uh, this one, this one's weird. This is a Rosa Crucian Principles for the Home and Business. Uh, this is. Rosicrucian stuff. It's weird. 
And if you get a Rosicrucian book and you put it up on eBay, you're going to get a fun eBay message from a fun fellow who's looking for a very specific edition of a very specific Rosicrucian book. Not this one. And apparently there's a small, it, it's a cult, and there is a small handful of people in it, and they're trying to get a bunch of Rosicrucian stuff. And there's some old works that are really valuable. There's like limited print runs and hard to find stuff. And they're like dragging around trying to find this stuff. And so there's look, there's some of them are looking for, but so you're going to occasionally come across some Rosicrucian stuff. Grab it. Uh, this may be a $10 book. I, I probably should have left it, but I saw the Rosicrucian. So, oh, grabbed it. Uh, but, uh, look it up. And there's a handful of them that are worth a good bit. So, be ready for some weirdness, though. Because it's some weirdness. If you'll have to excuse me, I have to blow my nose. And nobody wants to see that. And yes, I have a big nose. Alright. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Got. This was a last chance find, and these will get lotted up and first put up on some uh, groups and then lotted up. Uh, these are Treasury uh, Frankenstein Jungle Book, Jungle Book Treasury of Illust Illustrated Classics. There's several in this genre of like illustrated classic books for kids uh, with different ordering of that title. And they all seem to lot up okay in the 2 to $3 range. I've got, I think, another two or three. And I'll lot all these up. I'll put them on Facebook for a week or two. Uh, see if they sell. If they don't, I'll put them on eBay. Uh, same thing with Beverly Clearly books. Uh, those do about the same thing. Um, as well as American Girl books. And I've got a few American Girl books I need to throw together. And lot up and sell those. All right, next up. I need to check and see if this has all the parts. Then we're in good shape. Uh, but I got this neat chess set. I think it's kind of from the 70s with like medieval figures or something like that. So, uh, and I didn't, it was at last chance, and I'm figuring even if. I don't, there's the knight. These are, these are plastic. Uh, even if I don't, I could probably part this out individually. Even if. Uh, there's, that's the pawn. Let's go there. Even, even if I don't, I think I could, I may be able to part out. Oh, that's a cool looking castle. Uh, part them out. These actually might make halfway decent. Uh, what I'm gonna, what I'll do. Here's an idea. Medieval looking guys. I'll put these out to like a Dungeons and Dragons description for to see if the D and D crowd would use these and. See if that works, because that might be useful for the D and D guys, and we'll see. Maybe, maybe not, but it will be worth exploring. Faux marble, E S Low Company games from the seventies. A full set of these was going in the thirties, so. We will see, and it looks like we have all of the main pieces of knights, castles, king, queen. The question is, do we have all of the pawns? I think we have a full set here. 
Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a full set, and I didn't even check it. See, there's all of them. And so, it looks like we've got a full set, which is excellent. Renaissance chessmen with board. With a superb realism characteristic of 15th century Renaissance chessmen. What's that? Uh, full box, full set. So this is going to be between a 20 and 30 dollar case. Shipping this is going to be a pain. <sighs> At least it's light. But if I can find... I think I have a box that'll, that'll do. It's going to be a pain. I'll do it. Doesn't need to be done. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Harry Potter hardcovers. Five to... These go... Sometimes I've sold a ton of these locally, uh, five to eight bucks. Harry Potter hide covers with the dust jackets. I don't get them. I, I almost never get books without dust jackets. Uh, hard covers. If they come with a dust jacket, unless it's something super rare, it's not worth it. Uh, like we're talking ten percent of the whole value in, in, in a lot of cases. So don't. The only re the only way a Harry Potter might would be a first edition Sorcerer Stone without the dust jacket, and I don't even know if that would be worth it. That might be worth it then. So, okay. Last bit from yesterday is a bunch more. I found horse and his boy. I need to see if I can uh, put together a full run of. Uh, my, of uh, Chronicles of Narnia, like I said, a bunch more Destroyer and Executioner books. So we will see how all that shake it out. Is that everything? That is everything for today. And it's like all books in the chest set. So that's it. That is it for today. So I'm about to post a video, probably yesterday's, maybe the time before too. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe, please, and I will catch up with you next time. Probably no earlier than Wednesday because I'm. I may go out tomorrow. I may go out. I'm not going out today. I got things to do. Uh, so uh, usually, like I said before, I think I've said before, I'll I'll broadcast if I get some good finds or some good sales. But it's like a $10 book I'm not going to jump on. So, uh, y'all be good out there.